When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we're gonna be doing part crafting, part worm on string, part shoe unboxing. It's a lot of things going on in this video and I am excited for them all. Today we are gonna be doing a little bit of a DIY, I guess, with a very awesome pair of shoes that I feel like has been really around for a long, long time and I have always wanted a pair and I finally have a pair and I've actually had this pair of shoes for a while but I couldn't think of anything cool to put inside of them. Should I show you the shoes and then we talk about them from there? Yes I should. Sippy sippy! Too many cups of coffee today. I have way too much energy and nowhere to go. Worms on string. We'll get to these in just a minute. The pair of shoes that we are unboxing today is from YRU. You guys know I love this brand of shoes. I feel like we very recently unboxed a pair, I think even on this channel, and I was talking about how much I love this brand of shoes. They are very creative and there's a lot of good stuff. You should, you should just look at them. Just Google their page. Oh my God, I know why. Okay, because Why Are You is the sister brand with Escape. And a couple of months ago, we did an Escape fashion unboxing. So if you guys will remember that video, I had the sunglasses that looked like the little television screens. They had the antenna and we looked at a lot of cool stuff in that video. So this is I think kind of like the founding brand to Escape. I think YRU existed before Escape, but both brands are very, very cool and they both make some very unique shoes. I don't remember what these are called. Oh, Cloud with a Q. So it's like Q Loud. And I am not sure if these are slightly different than previous models. This sounds like a video in which I know nothing. I'm like, I don't know this, I don't know that. but. Why Are You comes out with several, I feel like, staple styles to their brand. Another one that I have seen like over and over again with various heel heights is called the, I always call it Quasimodo. I don't really think that that's how, it's like Cosmodo. I don't know how it's meant to be said, but I feel like that is a signature shoe that YRU has made over and over again. Different colorways, different heel heights. It's like one of those very stacked platform. I will insert a photo here, but it's like one of those very stacked platform shoes. But um, I have like one of these super high platformy pairs, but they also make it in like smaller heel heights. So I'm not sure if this is like the very original version of this shoe that they recently brought back after they had it like a couple seasons ago or if this is a slightly different style, a slightly different heel height. Maybe if you know more about this brand or more about this shoe than me, maybe you'll be able to tell me in the comments down below. But um, this is so, should I show you guys the paper? It just has the logo all over it. Why are you? Why are you? I like that. Okay, so this is the shoe and it's a nice, platform. It reminds me of um, like probably my favorite pair of shoes. Yeah, it's probably my second favorite pair of shoes that I own now. My favorite pair is this Marc Jacobs pair that I will insert a photo of here. That is now my favorite pair of shoes, but um, this is now my second favorite pair of shoes, but it was my favorite pair of shoes forever. They were by this brand called Substitute. Do you guys remember that brand? I think almost it was a split off brand from Jeffrey Campbell. They only came out with a couple of models of shoes, but they were amazing. So these are called the Club Kid platforms. And these stylistically remind me of those a lot, especially the top. Like the top almost is like a traditional loafer look. But then in the bottom, I'm sure you guys can see it, there is this clear section. And a lot of shoes are like this. They will have a clear platform on the bottom. But the amazing thing about these is you can actually, I'm trying to look and see, I see where the little access panel is, but you can, I think you lift up the insole here. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, it's like Velcro. Didn't we just talk about Velcro the other day? So you can lift this up and then there's actually like a little hole in the bottom of the shoe. So you actually have access to place whatever you want that will fit in that hole 
in the base of these shoes. And like I said, I feel like these shoes have been around for a while. I have seen so many amazing creative things that people have shoved in these shoes. Everything from like money to candy to um, those little like plastic baby dolls or like tiny cupie dolls. But my very favorite thing that I have seen as of late is worms on string. <laughs> worms on string in the base of these shoes. So that is what we are gonna be doing today. They're surprisingly like not that heavy. They're like, I don't know, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Now I'm not 100% sure why I was just waiting for like divine inspiration to strike me with what I was gonna fill these shoes with because I would think that it wouldn't be incredibly hard to just like dump the items out if you wanted to like change change the items out that you shoved into the bottom there. I would imagine maybe you could even like take like tongs or tweezers or something and like pull the items out. You know what else these remind me of are some of my favorite Jeffrey Campbell shoes to ever exist, which I think the style was called Icy, but they had Barbie doll heads or Kin heads shoved in the soles of the shoes. I know it's terrible for me to say, but I don't think I ever got those. I don't think I have those. I do have a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's with little Cupid dolls already pre-shoved inside of them. I'm gonna go fish that pair out of my closet and I will show them to you. I think I saw somebody on TikTok put worms in string in the bottom of these shoes and I was like worms on string. So actually it wasn't even my divine inspiration. It was somebody else's. So I got this mega pack of 64 worms on string from Amazon several months ago. And I thought 64 worms on string was just gonna be massive. This looks like hardly no worms on string. I'm actually concerned that we're not gonna have enough worms on string, even to like really fill these guys, because that was kind of like what I had in mind was to like have just shoes stuffed with worm on string. Oh my God, are all of these individually wrapped? I don't like this. Oh my God, look at all this. Look at all these wrappers. Oh, why? I mean, I guess it's because they were listed as like party favors. So uh, everybody needs their own individually wrapped worm, I guess. I am intrigued by worm on string. Why? Does anyone who actually likes worms on string, worm on string, do you know why you like worm on string? Do you know why? Because I don't. I don't know why. I feel like it's one of those things like Furby. I just like, plus I feel like those two Marvel universes intersect. I feel like people that like Worm on String also like Furby. Why is that? I don't know. Also, speaking of TikTok and Worm on String, no one is speaking about that but me. I saw a tutorial the other day for how to make a giant worm on string and I bought the supplies to do it. So I'm waiting for them to come in the mail but I would love to do that. I would love to make gigantic worm on string. So we're gonna unwrap one of these right now. This might be like a split in between two days type of video because how long is it gonna take for me to unwrap each worm on string? Oh, they're so soft. Oh my God, this one has like a weird eye thing going on. Look at that. So I'm kind of torn to cut the strings off, but I guess I need to before I put it in the bottom of the shoe because otherwise wouldn't it just look weird to have a bunch of like white little cards in there? I remember when Worm on String like first came out and they were called like Squiggly Wiggly. Wasn't this originally like an ad seen on TV item? Also, can anyone actually do the tricks? I feel like this fools no one. <laughs> like, wow, how is she doing it? <laughs> The worm just so happens to always be crawling in the direction that her other hand is going. Like, how do you do this? Oh my God, do you know what this reminds me of is, um, what was that as seen on TV item that we tested out a million years ago where it was like the UFO magic and you like went like this and people were supposed to believe that you had this like UFO hovering in your hands, woo! Uh, speaking of as seen on TV, do you know what I've had an absolute hankering to retest is Soda Stream. I don't know why Soda Stream all of a sudden just sounds like a wonderful invention to me all over again. It's like I've learned nothing in six years. So I feel like it's terrible for me to cut the string off, but I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. So I will see you guys next century once I have all the worm on string. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, string. Although now he's free, free to just be worm. 
worm. Now he's just worm. He's not worm on string anymore. Oh, he looks sad and majestic. Okay, so I am gonna just sit here unpackaging worms, I guess, and cutting their strings off. I'll see you guys in a year or so when I have this all done. Oh my God, this one's red. Why am I shocked by that? I was like, wow, it's red. Oh my God, I couldn't tell that from the clear packaging. I just, I just saw two seconds ago. Oh. I have been over here clipping and snipping and I think that these are a lot fluffier than I imagined them to be because I started like stacking my pile of worms. You guys can't see anything that's happening over here, but I started to like stack the ones that I was opening, fluffing up and cutting the strings off like next to the soles of the shoes. And it started to look like it would fill the bottom of the shoe. So I figured like, why don't I go ahead and put these in here and see how full the heel looks before I just like cut the strings and open all of the worms because maybe we'll save them for some other purpose in the future. I don't know what that purpose would be. I just figured I'd see where I'm at. And now uh, I'm trying to get the sole out again. I feel like I had it a minute ago. Okay, there we go. Oh, the whole thing comes out. Okay, easy peasy. Let's see how easy they're gonna be to drop in there. I wish you guys could like really see. Oh my God. Okay, there he is. Ah, look, that's only one worm. And I feel like that takes up a lot of space. Wow, okay, so I probably will have enough. Let's see if I can jiggle them down to the front there. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of the hardest thing about these is getting the objects like past the like clear posts in there which are obviously in there for like weight support i would imagine oh my god they look so hilarious shoved in there look at that one see like i don't i don't want to fill the heel so much that there isn't any motion of the worms i guess when i walk but i do want it to look like really nice and full so let's see that's four worms Whoa, uh, uh. Okay, what color do we need? I tried to open a couple of each color. I really like the neon ones. I like like neon green, neon orange. Grappling content, I'm sure. Just me shaking worm into shoes here. See, I feel like maybe if I had some kind of... I'm like, what's a flexible tweezer? I'm like, if I had flexible tweezers. One of the pink ones only had one eye and I was like, ooh, he's a special one. This looks so funny. See, I wish I could get more down there, but that's like the hardest area. I almost feel like one worm only is gonna fit in there. But you know what? Maybe I can just fill it with the ones I cut the strings off of already. And then maybe once I like really try them on and walk around in them, maybe it'll like shuffle the worms in different places. And then I'll be able to shove more worms inside. Okay, I'm gonna try and get one more. So I'm glad it didn't really take that many because I was literally scared I did not have enough. Okay, so I am gonna wrap up this video for you guys tomorrow because I think I want to try these shoes on outside because I feel like the sunshine would actually like maybe make them look cooler than artificial light. Although you guys, we're having like severe thunderstorms here tonight. I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like tomorrow, but we're like literally under, I, I think a tornado warning right now. So with any luck, I'll be able to try these on outside but I really love how they look so far they look so so cute and colorful and I really like it especially when you can see the eyes through the heel because then you can like really tell what they are because without the actual eyes like it almost just looks like I almost said fun noodles but um pipe cleaners <laughs> but this is what we have so far so I will see you guys tomorrow for the exciting conclusion of worm on string shoe I am back I'm not sure why this was a two-day process in my mind of shoving tiny worms inside the soles of shoes, but it's the next day and they're done. And I think approximately 10 to 12 worms is what I was able to shove into the sole of each shoe. Now, I did want to try and scoot more worms to the front here. So I did try and take scissors and like shove them in there, but I don't really think that that worked out too well for me. I don't know, I would love to hear you guys' opinion. Like, do you think that this looks cute? 
Or do you think maybe after a little while I should take these little guys out and fill the shoes with something else? Do you guys have any good ideas of what I could put in here? Also, remind me if you guys have seen in a previous haul that I ever had the Jeffrey Campbell Ices with the Kin Heads or the Barbie Heads. If I had them, I never got rid of them, but I looked high and low in my closet and I don't see them. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I had them where the heck they are, but now I have a deep longing. I kind of want to see if I can find a pair. So let me know what you guys think of today's shoe unboxing and I can hardly see what shoes we're gonna unbox next. I feel like the last three we've done on this channel have been very intriguing with like peeps and gum and now warm on string. So what will she think of next? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well out there. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and sassy and I love you guys so so much and I will see y'all again very very soon. Bye!